Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Home Team, and this is a new Netflix original film about, you know, it's a true story about when NFL coach Sean Payton got ban got suspended for a whole entire year of an NFL season for what was going on with the Saints where players were being paid to actually, like, take out other players. And he goes back home to Texas to his estranged son and his estranged ex-wife and slowly becomes a big part of his son's football team and begins coaching it. And this is based off of a true story. Even, like, here's the thing. This film could have just been your average Joe, just, you know, young kids football movie. It really didn't need the context of this is, this is Sean Payton. Like, the only big thing is, like, they pull in, like, Bill Cower at one point, and, like, they bring in the controversy. It's like, this didn't feel like this is, like, a true story. And what's the biggest thing is, they, with Sean Payton, they don't even confront head-on the whole controversy. They even buck it, even when Sean Payton's son confronts him about it, and he's just like, it's not important, but I'm taking accountability. It's like, they don't even, like delve anywhere deep into whether he did this or not. It doesn't really give this character any depth. He's just here to be like, I want to win football, but then, you know, I should really connect with my son and be a better person. And it's very cliche in that way. And this is a Happy Madison production, so take with that what you will and set your expectations appropriately because it definitely feels like one it even has Jackie Sandler in it. His, uh, ben, uh, Adam Sandler's wife, who plays Sean Payton's ex-wife. And uh, you have Kevin James in this, and I think Kevin James does a really fine job. He doesn't have a whole lot of, like, heavy lifting from, like, an emotional perspective. It's a lot of Kevin James just using some solid comedic timing and being snarky with people. And he does that well. You have Taylor Lautner, who's fine, I guess, as, like, the actual head coach of this team. And... I don't, know, I don't think he really brings much to this role, but, you know, negatives. Every time you have Gary Valentine, who is from, like, King of Queens, and Rob Schneider on screen, they're just so annoying and just so ridiculous that they don't even feel like real human beings. They just feel like these strange caricatures thrown on screen with horrible lowbrow comedy that also makes it feel like this movie doesn't, like, this isn't a true story, because these are just completely absurd, and they just aren't great, and there's plenty of really lowbrow, terrible toilet humor, including one whole sequence with a bunch of vomiting, and it's just like, if this is the kind of humor this film's going for, it's not doing anything very well with it, and it gets on my ner it got on my nerves, I imagine it'll get on a lot of people's nerves, and it's just cheap, you could have done things more, like, unique and fresh and humorous than just like blah, throw up and you have so many cliches this this film does not feel like anything unique in any way shape or form to any other young kid football movie like i would much rather go watch little giants or any other countless film about like a young group of kids playing a sport and I just felt like this had potential because it's based off of a true story. I assume, like, oh my god, Kevin James playing Sean Payton, like the NFL coach? Not, like, is he though? He's just playing snarky Kevin James and with a whole bunch of crazy rascal kids and a whole bunch of over-the-top caricatures. And yeah, it just feels like a really lowbrow, pretty forgettable, and very stale children's sports movie and there's not much else to really take from that but you know it's watchable for the most part there's times where I'm just like oh, I can't even but in general I think you could get through this hour and 37 minutes without it torturing you too much and you know Kevin James was good I enjoyed him in it and you know if you like a good sports movie it's a great underdog story that you've seen many, many times. But those are my thoughts on Home Team. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.